Hi, my name's Ray Chambers, and as part of the new computing curriculum, um, I'm going to just quickly show you what an array is and kind of explain the theory behind this structure. So uh, what an array is, is it's a collection of items that can be accessed by using a unique index. Now, basically, what that means is you can have one variable declared in your program. So, for example, you could have, um, let's just say, dog. So we, we could do a list of dogs. And instead of going uh, declaring dog1, dog2, dog3, you can actually uh, create something called an array and actually, for example, dog0 would be your start point. You could store something in there and then later on you can increase that by 1 and you can loop through it. So if we said dog0 equals, uh, say, Howie, okay, you could then say dog one is Leonard, okay, you can't tell I'm a fan of the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to go on to the next slide and kind of explain some of the theory behind it. So like I said, a one-dimensional array might be that you've got something like a number and you want to store multiple numbers in this list. So in which case, uh, this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now what we do is we store our first number always goes in the zero position. We always start on zero, then the second number, then the third number goes in there, and so on, and it goes on. Um, and you can do this with a multiple number of lists, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to show you how two-dimensional arrays work, and then you'll start to understand these a little bit in more detail. Okay, so in a single array, you might store everything in one list. Now the idea of a two-dimensional array is about splitting it into two different sections. So you might have something on the top row, then something on the second row. So you can see here, if it was a single array, I'd have everything listed together. But a two-dimensional array, you might split it into two. So you've got lettuce, tomato, and salad. That will be on the top row, zero. Um, and that, that will be like uh, part of your course. And then the second row I might have steak, potatoes and beans for the main and the third row I'd have cake, ice cream and coffee as my dessert. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how these are written on the next slide. So to kind of sum up what's happening here is an array, if we have a two dimensional array, across the top we've got our like column if you like, alright so there's 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. And then we've got our rows. So you can see here, 10 is on 0, 0, okay. Uh, 0, 1 is 0, 1, there's 30, all right. Now if I wanted to get number 22, I would write array, okay, and I would have one, uh, say let's go for 21 and then 2. So you can see how a two dimensional array works and we tend to use that when we've got large pieces of information and structures. So that's the main difference between a single uh, dimensional array and a two dimensional array. And uh, that's one of the data structures that's mentioned in the new computing curriculum, and I hope that's useful.